doing this. Um, I wanted to ask you about a, a play in the, in the St. Francis game. When we were talking to Coach Holden after the game, he was talking about the block that you had and the, the growth that that shows um, in, in your game. Can you take me through that play in that moment? What, what happened on that play and, and why you think that was a big moment for him? Um, I, think, I do remember the play, uh, the guy, he, coming, he was coming off a double screen and then he wrapped it and went right back door. So like, I just kind of used my instincts and just, you know, turned around and reacted. Uh, I think my main emphasis is to make a mark on the defensive end. So, and that's been one of coach, coach's uh, biggest emphasis for me, wanting me to make sure like I'm always the best play, best defender on the court. So that play just, you know, was a little bit of what, you know, I had to offer. When you talk about playing, a play like that being partially out of instinct, how have your instincts held up compared to when you were playing in, at, at the high school level? Uh, my inst- I can't really rely on instincts and athleticism anymore because everybody at this level is athletic as I am or even more. So like even just like techniques and all stuff like that uh, goes a long way. So you know we, we practice stuff like you know denying the cutters and, and you know reacting. So um, how do you think you overall have adapted? these last couple of games. Um, it seemed like once you went to Maui, things got a little bit more challenging for you, um, at least from like a production standpoint, um, against higher level competition. What what has that experience taught you? Where do you think you are after having learned some of those lessons? Uh, that experience taught me just, you know, it, it, it taught me how to just like stay humble, you know, uh, and learn how to be comfortable. Like I feel like during the, the beginning of the season, like I wasn't as comfortable, especially with Hawaii. I wasn't really comfortable playing, you know, that physical, that, you know, type of basketball game. So I feel like over these last few days of practices, and including the last game, I feel like I've been a lot more ready for this type of style of play. Um, and the coach has also talked about, like, your ability on the defensive end. Now, you're a two-way player, but your defense right now is ahead of your offense, and that helps get you on the court. Um, where do you think your offensive game is as far as, you know, you can score at all three levels, um, but where do you think you are as far as putting that all together here? Uh, I feel like I'm very close to putting it all together. Like I said, it's just a comfortability standpoint for me. Like, uh, I feel like the game was kind of a little fast for me at, at, at the time. So I feel like in practice is where, you know, that's my chance to make everything right. So like I've been, I've been, I feel like I've had a few good practices, you know, just getting comfortable to the speed of the game and, and you know, making great decisions. Just, how big was the Duke game for you? freshman class, not just playing that level, but playing at a venue like that to kind of welcome you guys to college basketball. Right, yeah, no, that, that place was rocking. Like, it was a ton of people. Like, it was, it was hard to hear. So, like, us freshmen, like, really haven't played in an environment like that. So, like, it taught us how to stay connected in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in those moments where, you know, everybody's against you and you only, there's only those five people you can hear on the court. So, I feel like that was a big learning lesson for us and, you know, we'll be ready to do Additionally, not only the atmosphere, but you guys have foul trouble, other guys had to step up. I know you don't prefer to have won the game, but to have put in that performance given kind of everything that went against you. What does that say about the team so far? Uh, I feel like this team has um, limited potential. Like just the, how we how far we came, you know, we cut it down to six so many times we won this right there to come out with a victory. I feel like uh, over the next few games and as we as we progress through the season, I feel like we, we should be able to make some great statements. What is your mindset? Uh, my mindset is just to go uh, play hard and control what you can control, honestly. Just to go give everything you got, give 100%, and, you know, just get the job done. How have the older guys helped prepare you? Uh, the older guys just usually stay encouraging me, like whenever I make mistakes or if I do something good, they always do a great job with, uh, you know, encouraging me. Make it so that I'm straight, my heart's on straight, because you know, like freshman way, you know, they kind of put their head down and stuff like that. So they have done a great job. Yeah. Bryce said in practice they'll play the freshman with the captain against like the older guys and the captain. What are those battles like? When it's the four, of, maybe the four of you together going against the older guys. The four of us are, are special, in my opinion. Like I feel like we we have great runs, especially like in practice and stuff. Like we get we kind of get in on other guys, but. Um, they, they do have, you know, experience, so I mean, like, some knucklehead plays that we might make, but I feel like as a as a whole, entirely, like, we, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. You were the first 
uh, team in like seven years where four freshmen scored in double figures for Ohio State the other day. I just wonder what that says about where you guys are collectively um, trying to figure out like what your roles are at this level but also being able to contribute at a high level like that. Um, I just feel like uh, all four of us are getting comfortable. Like I feel like um, with Felix and Bruce and Bryce, me, I feel like we're all kind of getting used to this college play, uh, the physicality, the speed of the game. I feel like we, we are in the position. And how much did you enjoy a game like that coming off of, you know, the, the Duke game being a challenge for yourself and for a lot of guys and some guys having some hard times in, in Maui? Like, having a game like that where you can kind of get your feet under you a little bit, how much does that benefit you? Uh, it was great because it just felt like we got to regain some of the stuff that we lost, uh, build some confidence back up. So, like, that, that game, you know, we don't take anything, any game for granted, but, like, it was a great game for people to, you know, build their confidence. Do you ever get switched on Bryce in practice? How often do you guys guard each other? Not very often. I usually guard Bruce most of the time. Okay. Bryce, I don't really guard Bryce most of the time. Okay. Roddy, Big Ten plays, obviously, a step up, but you've already had that step up. How much more confident are you guys going into the game like Rutgers, knowing you've already played high level college? Uh, I'm extremely confident, especially like through high school. I feel like I played a good, decent amount of talent and physical, physical people. Uh, I feel like I, I battle a bunch of physical guys in practice every day. Uh, I feel like our practice are very intense. So, yeah, this I feel like coaches and, and my teammates prepare me for this game. And then when the scoring isn't maybe coming as fast as you want to, do you feel like you put in more of an effort on the defense end to have that kind of contribution you want? Uh, most definitely, I feel like if, if my offense isn't isn't really thriving like I want it to be, I feel like I need to make my mark on defense. So like uh, I need, I, I feel like I need to actually. So like I'm more pressure, more ball pressure, you know, rebound, and doing some of the small things that you know you really wouldn't do. Just like some of the effort plays. How well did, did you know the the Duke roster? I feel like you um, played against some of those guys, right? Yeah, I played against most of them guys. Like like we've probably known each other for about four plus years, especially Cal for we played together, mm -hmm. and um. For the rent, so like we used to room all the time. We used to always be around each other. Uh, Derek from New Jersey, uh, I used to be around him a lot. So like it was, it was, kind of, it was kind of awesome playing against kids like you grew up with, and you know you see develop. What's it like seeing Kyle have the season that he's had? Uh, I'm, I'm extremely proud of Kyle. Uh, it came a long way, most definitely. Uh, and it's just like, like I said, it's just amazing to see like the progression of, of like your friends. And I know they were, I know they were recruiting him here. Did you try to get him to join you here? I definitely did. Um, I can't say exactly what was said, but um, we were very close. Oh. Very close. Looking back to your high school days, did you uh, prioritize the defensive end, or is that something you've kind of transitioned to to get more time here? Um, I would say during high school, I, I definitely did develop myself into more of a defender because, like, when I transferred over to Wasatch Academy, like, when the NWC, they played against teams like Mount Verde, IMG Academy, so, like, you kind of had to you know, bring it every every day or you were going to be going out. So I feel like that definitely prepared me offensively and defensively. And then with exam week coming up, how do you sort of balance sort of paying attention to your classes as well as basketball play? Uh, I've been trying. Uh, it was my first go around with, you know, finals and stuff like that. So uh, I've been trying to, like, set a block of time for me to be able to study, you know, get my work done. Do you have any uh, finals this week that uh, you're kind of worried about? Um, I have a final Friday morning in Econ, and I am not too confident. <laughs> That's the night after the uh, game against Rutgers. Um, I mean, how are you feeling, I mean, just with that schedule? Um, it is a crazy schedule. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm going to take some time out to practice tonight, study, practice tomorrow night, uh, study again. So, you know, just bringing a great effort, honestly. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks.